Hey, Christy here with Make Everyday Colorful. Um, today is actually National Librarian Day, so I thought that I would show y'all my home library, even though I'm not a librarian. I sometimes feel like I am because I am always sorting out our books and putting them in the right place. So I thought it'd be kind of cool if I kind of gave y'all a tour of our home library, just so you can kind of see what kind of books we have. So I think Total Kid Books, um, I have this little app and I keep track of it. Now I do break apart my um, like collection books. Like if I have a book that has a bunch of collections of other books, I'll count those as individual books because if I were to buy them separately, you know. So I have them all categorized in my little book buddy app so that I can um, not ever get a duplicate book. Anyway, so total number of kids books we're at so far, I think it's somewhere around 1,500 or so books um there's some at my mom's house that i did not bring to my house yet just because i felt like they could be a little bit older like they're for a little bit older kids so they're just kind of staying in the closet at her house but i'm going to show you what we have at our house and i'm also going to kind of show you some of the books that me and my husband have as well um so i hope you enjoy what you see i wish i could show you all my favorite books but i know i'm not going to ever have enough time to do that who knows i might end up doing like some kind of segment where i do like categories of books and show you some of my favorite books in those categories for children but as of today i'm just going to kind of go through our home library which is kind of all over the house so here we go okay so here's the first bookshelf we're going to go through this i'm going to show you just starting from the very top i mean even up here because i have a bunch of um educational stuff i even have like a book on rocks and you know a box of coral rocks to go with it to show them of course this is all my Richard Scary books. I love Richard Scary. If you have not gotten any of their Richard Scary books for your young children, I highly recommend them. I'll show you really quick what I mean. For instance, I feel like they're very educational. So, um, for instance, this one's mailing a letter. And you can see how cool, like, the pictures are really great. And it goes into detail about mailing a letter and how they have to sort it at the post office and send it to another town. And then, you know, mother's work's never done. And it just shows different occupations. So this is what do people do all day? Firemen and it even has bakers and yeah, tr a train trip, airport, all kinds of stuff. So that's the first section I have up here on my bookshelf. Try to squeeze that back in. Then I'm gonna call this, I guess, arts, art appreciation, but it's really not art appreciation. It's just art books to teach art. These are books I'm going to be starting with my daughter probably next year curriculum. They were on sale for five bucks. They're normally 40, like $43. So of course we snatched them up. That's artistic pursuits. Then these are some that she can, I say she, it's both my daughters, but my, my son's a little young. So he will start to do them, but the girls like to do these. Then this is um, my homeschool shelf so far. So from um, here to here is my preschool curriculum I got with Sunlight. And then I have a couple teacher guides in the middle right there. And then from here, I have to have some of these turned this way because I didn't fit all the way to this math book right here, starting right before the math book. Those are all of my pre-K curriculum with Sunlight. And right here, I'm gonna be starting a kindergarten curriculum i'm gonna show you actually the book right some of the other books that are going with that curriculum we haven't gotten them all in yet they're in a box right now i really quickly wanted to show you some of the books i haven't nearly gotten all of our kindergarten curriculum in yet um i think there was like 48 books or something you have to get and i've been kind of ordering i'm one of those people i will get on ebay and thrift books and sometimes you know i'll buy i mean i've bought um whole packages with sunlight but then sometimes i'll just go and get like this you know use books so these are some of the books for our kindergarten curriculum and the reason they're all in a box um a lot of homeschool families know this is what we call a box day and since i'm not ordering a whole box curriculum for my daughter to be able to open at one time i wanted it to still feel the same so she can get excited about what she's going to be doing for the next school year 
So I've been kind of collecting all the books that we've been getting in for kindergarten. And once I have them all, I'm going to open the box with her and let her look through her new um, school year's curriculum, what we're going to be doing. Okay, so going back to my bookshelf. So this is a whole section of readers, which is funny because I got online the other day in homeschool groups and was like, can you suggest any good readers for beginner readers when I have a ton of them, you know, sitting on my shelf? I did get like a lot of these books. I think I got like 45 books from Habitat for Humanity for like less than $5 one day, like all beginner readers. But since <clears throat> I'm more of a, um, I don't really like twaddle. And if you're in a homeschool school community, you know what that means. Twaddle is books that don't have, they're really not that interesting to read, I guess you can say, or they don't have much meaning behind them. So I wanted some really good books. So I'm still on the lookout for some. So if you have some really great beginner reader suggestions, please let me know in the comments. Okay, so like I said, beginner readers. Um, my little Usborne collection, I bought this and I do like these books. Then I have some rhyming books, more Usborne. More beginner readers. And then I have the uh, a bunch of these, like if you give a mouse a cookie, if you take a mouse to school, if you give a pig a pancake, that whole little series right there. I need to get the rest, I guess. <laughs> and then these are Dr. Seuss books. And then uh, Frog and Toad. If, I don't know if any of y'all remember that when you were little. I really like those books. So I got one. So we can, when my daughter's learning to read. Then I kind of come down to this section, which is, we start off with marine life right here. So we have a shark's encyclopedia. My daughter picked that and a dinosaur encyclopedia over here for her fourth birthday with her birthday money. That's what she wanted out of everything at the store. Um, so anyway, more marine life, oceans. Then it goes to animals. And I don't know if y'all have ever seen any of these life-size books. They're also Usborne. You could be, I really like Usborne apparently. I have a ton of them. So this is a really cool book. So this is the um, giant squid and that's the actual size of like its eye. And then it goes like the actual size of a tiger's mouth. So these are really cool. It like really brings it into perspe perspective for children. Um, so then, so animals, I have birds, bugs. I have a very, very small reptile section. I think I need Maybe a little bit more on that, but, you know, I might be getting some of that eventually with our homeschool curriculum anyway. Then it goes to dinosaurs. We have a bunch of dinosaur books. My four-year-old, almost five in a couple months, loves dinosaurs, and she wants to be a paleontologist when she grows up. She tells us that all the time. She even told me that again today, that she wants to be a paleontologist. And I told her, well, we got plenty of dinosaur books. You can look at it in the room to study for it. Oh, yes, Mom. Another one of those life-size books. So if you have a dinosaur lover, this is the Plotticus face. And these are supposed to be like life-size. And this is like a spine on the Stegosaurus back. Isn't that cool? And then our last section right here on the shelf, we go down to the human body. And I even have, this is a really cool book. Another Osborne, of course. The human body, and it pulls out into long flap. So my daughters like to lay by the skeleton on the floor. And there's not just a skeleton in the sea. This one's a muscular system. And they have two other big flaps like that. So that's a really great um, book to kind of introduce the human body. So that is the shelf. This bookshelf. I really, really, really like these books. Um, if you've never seen these, these are old books. They don't print them anymore. It's called um through golden windows these stories are so awesome i'm gonna have to really do a video on these just to explain it. so here's some anthology mixed up with a little bit of my, some of my books and a few homeschool books and things like that for me this is kind of my uncategorized area um then we have um some a couple of like biographies autobiographies we have some Ameri uh, I say American literature right there, and then some Native American and other stuff. And then coming down here is some more educational books. So I have the alphabet. So all of these books up to, these are all alphabet. Okay, then I start with numbers. So these are all books on numbers. This is a really cute one. 
and so I have all these number books and then I start getting to colors and shapes and opposites then I come down here and this is um, I'm gonna say kind of like general knowledge and science so there's science in there a bunch of science books these are some really cool books too. the series um, whales of uh, knowledge science series there's a bunch of different bunch of information in there and it's really cool how they break it all down and then I kind of have earth like our world how things grow a little bit about earth uh, volcanoes you know just different like there's more rocks let's see caves so different things like that then it goes into space so this is all stuff to do with space space exploration store watching then on the very bottom of my shelf I have um, right here it's magazines then I have I guess you could say self-help school books and I have a couple workbooks right there then a little bit older reading that is too advanced for my children right now it's like chapter books and such all right let me get to the next shelf okay more on um, I say battles uh, some um, history um, we have basically general world history some American history um, this is basically like I said all history so then we go down oh we have Greek mythology and then these are like handicraft books like woodworking I actually have sewing ones upstairs that I don't even have right here so that Greek mythology then we go down here's some a lot of my husband's books are right here I honestly didn't look to see if he even really categorized them and then here is more school stuff a bunch of workbooks and activity books these are busy books that i made for my kids to keep you know to teach them and keep them busy hidden picture books and then a bunch of just random activity books and then mind puzzles and hidden pictures and sticker books so that's it for this bookshelf okay so this is one of our bookshelves upstairs it is really not categorized to be honest we're like in the middle of doing all kinds of stuff you know while we're stuck home for this quarantine but here's another collection of books and i actually do have like my sewing books and stuff right here more handicraft stuff um because i have mostly a bunch of random books more random books we didn't categorize these are a bunch of my books so still working on our uh, home library Okay, so here we go. Another bookshelf, which this has a bunch of games and stuff on it too, puzzles. Okay, this right here section is what I call transportation. Just some different books that we have on transportation, mostly children's books. And I call this my little monster section. So, Tickle Monster book. That one's a really cute one with kids. I love nibbles. Um... Just random, oh, who can, everybody should love this book, Where the Wild Things Are. I love that book. Just a bunch of random, I say little monster book, like even Sesame Street Monsters and beginner, some more beginner readers. So Sesame Street, okay, I'm get to my next shelf. Okay, so here's another shelf of books. Okay, and toys apparently at the bottom. This one is all holiday books. So there is different holidays like Halloween, Easter, Thanksgiving, and the majority of this is Christmas books. Because we try to do the unwrap a book every night during Christmas. It's fun, exciting, get to read them all. Then I have, um, these are all like Louisiana or Cajun books since that's where I'm from. Got a whole Thing just on that and then all of these books I'm just gonna call these people books I guess these are story or uh, fiction stories about um, people little adventures they go on like cloudy with a chance of meatballs um, trying to see pinky Rex and the play school just a bunch of little kids books um, the Billy B Brown series if you're an us born lover you might know what these are then I kind of get into some folk tales like um, Tommy DePaula books. I love his books. You can see a bunch of the different, like I say, folk tales. Probably a bunch of stories that a lot of us would know. 
And then these, oh, I love these. These are some great living books. If you've never seen the Katie series, like Kate, this one's Katie and the Stormy Night, Star, Starry Night, I'm sorry. Um, Katie in Scotland. These are a great little series of books. They're, they teach a lot about art and different parts of the world when she travels. It's very detailed and informational. They're really great. Okay, these are all like animal books. Um, so I think it starts off with like fish, dogs and cats, and we have bears and monkeys and forest animals and like, um, let's see, on the farm. Then we have like crocodile, like reptiles and amphibians. And then I guess you'd say safari, jungle, whatever, however you want to categorize that wild animals. So that's a whole section. This is all little animal books. Okay, last but not least, this bookshelf. So on this bookshelf, we start off with, I, I kind of made this miscellaneous. I actually want to make a bunch of little dividers so I know what everything is. So this is kind of some miscellaneous books right here. Then it goes into like plays and poetry, all of that. Then I have a couple like music appreciation or music books. This is a really cute um, book that I, I wanted to show it to y'all kind of really quickly. It uh, has music on all the pages and it's for young kids. So they can kind of start to learn with, um, it's not a one. Let me turn it on so you can hear it. Okay, so it, it tells children, you know, the different instruments. So in other words, like horns and stuff. And stringed instruments. So it's really cute. Just thought I'd show y'all that one real quick because it was so cute. Okay, so that's music. Then this is all kind of like uh, biblical. I actually have uh, Bibles in the kids' rooms too that each have one of these in their room. Then we go down to anthology. So just a bunch of collections of stories. Just five minute stories, animal stories. I mean, fairy tales, Tom Sawyer, just a bunch of stories. This is kind of a, just a little game area. I say game puzzles and stuff area for the kids. And then I come down, these are all the books that I leave on the very bottom, which is great for my two-year-old, which he's actually gotten a lot better with books. I can trust him with other books, but if we have other young children here, this is a great section to have because I'm not really afraid of these being destroyed because they're all board books. So tons of board books, touchy-feely board books, just tons and tons of board books. This is even a little collection of books I have on my nightstand. Just to show you that we, we really do have books all around the house. Bible. Uh, this is more like, you know, like I said, by my nightstand. So this is all books for me that I read. I will not even show you that we even have books there. Probably in our car and everywhere else too. I'm going to call this a bonus section of books. This is actually all cookbooks. I love to cook. I really love these um, John Foles cookbooks. They're awesome. They're, they are uh, Cajun, Louisiana, Creole. I'll just throw that out there in case you were not. Then, you know, I kind of have it or, or, uh, organized by category. This is actually like an herbal remedies book. Then my daughter got her own princess cookbook. She loves cooking out of there. Then we have like Asian cuisine. Um, holiday juicing books, just rant, you know, I say former, um, Southern Living, and Julia Child cookbooks. So we have a lot of different cookbooks as well. Okay, guys, so that was the walkthrough of our home library. As you can see, it was still, we're kind of still organizing things, so it's not perfect, which whose is, you know, because you know you're reading books and pulling them out all day. Um, I hope you like what you saw and I hope I didn't ramble on too much. I really wish that I could have went section by section and showed you all of my favorite books. I might even start doing some videos where I pull like favorite children's books out 
and show you those by category that way you know if you're in if you're in the uh looking out for books that you want to get for your child and you're not really quite sure what you want then i can uh, maybe recommend some things to you that we really love well i hope you like what you saw if you did please click to subscribe and y'all have a blessed day and thanks for watching make everyday colorful